Hey, what up everyone? Uh, welcome back to my channel. And so for this uh, week's video, I'm gonna be installing um, the Brom harness bar. And so um, I wanna show you what I did. So first off, you wanna start taking the uh, interior trim apart. A um, Couple things that I just wanna make note of. You're gonna need longer bolts. And uh, over the course of this video, I'll talk to you a little bit about what bolts will need to be replaced. Um, you're gonna need the 12 point spline M10 to be able to take the uh, seatbelt bolts out. And for, um, uh, because my car is also a daily driver, um, I'm going to be utilizing the stock, um, the stock seat belts. So um, if you want to take them out, um, I don't highly recommend it. Um, my, sh my car is for show. So um, that's why I'm still leaving my seat belts in, but I'll show you here in a little bit. So I've got uh, this side taken apart. Um, I've just been mounting some stuff up just to see what it looks like as a test fit. So this is the, um, the top part of the seat belt. And uh, what you want to do is once you take the uh, plastic trim piece here off, um, it's got a couple tabs. So bear with me, I'm trying to do this one handed. So it'll clip up here, but in order for you to get this out, you need to kind of jimmy it out. So move it side to side and that will come out. Um, so what I ended up having to do was take this bolt out. This is the 12 point M10 that I was telling you guys about. Um, mind you, so it will, uh, it will slip on you once you take that bolt out. So this um, button here is what will help uh, move it up and down. Now, um, a lot of the videos that I saw, uh, they recommend that you have your positioning all the way um, to the bottom. Um, so this is where it's at. And then I took this bolt out um, and then I ended up sliding this part of the harness bar in. Um, so this will end up, I'll just kind of show you here. So it'll bolt up onto this end and it'll slip in through this uh, little crevice here. And then you're gonna put a bolt in and that should um, tighten it down. But right now I'm just uh, I'm doing like a, like a custom fit and see how much I will have to um, make adjustments on. Now, this part, you can actually unscrew so you can get more leverage and then this will tighten it up. And in a previous video, I always say hey, use blue Loctite. Um, still holds true, so you wanna do everything right. Um, and then when you notice on the Brom bar, it didn't come with instructions, so um, a lot of it was just uh, kind of common sense. Now you're gonna have on each end, one part is bigger than the other. So you'll, you'll notice that this is a little bit bigger um, than this one. So this part slides into the, uh, the bracket side of the bar itself underneath. So right about here is where you're gonna do it. And I'll show you later in the video as well. Um, and then you take the bigger, uh, the bigger part and then you're gonna bolt it up to the bottom, which I've already started here. So there's that bolt hole and then this is where the seat belt goes through. Um, <clears throat> now I ended up taking a uh, different approach because I wanted to use my seat belts again. Um, so I ended up getting a longer bolt. So um, uh, I'll show you here in a little bit in the video, but uh, just to get a good idea, um, you're gonna want a two and a half inch um, bolt, which is uh, the thread is gonna be seven sixteenths. Um, And then I ended up getting like half inch spacer. So um, what, what I wanna do is be able to uh, give a little bit of a gap between the, um, between the plastic piece here where it bolts up. So I had to do some trimming. Um, and then uh, that's pretty much in what you bolted up. Um, but I'll show you everything step by step. All right, so I've got everything mocked up. Um, I'll put in the other bar in a second, but I've measured it out and how much I needed to um, thread out. So I gave myself about maybe um, uh, about half an inch um, of thread. So you'll see right here. And then uh, I'm going to tighten that bolt down later and put in um, blue Loctite. And I did roughly the same at the bottom. And so with that longer bolt, um, 
I do use that spacer, which I was talking about earlier. I haven't tightened anything down yet, but just kind of want to give you guys an idea of um, what it will look like. So uh, everything is mocked up. And then this bolt, you want to use the Allen ones. Um, you don't want to tighten anything up yet. Just kind of loosely put it in so you can uh, finagle it and get um, uh, the, the little brackets to fit inside. Um, took a little bit of work, but so far... Um, that's where I'm at. And then where the trim piece is here, um, I'm gonna have to use my little trusty Dremel and uh, cut a little chunk out. So that way that, um, that bracket can fit there. Um, so bottom here, um, I'm gonna need to cut a little chunk of that out too, um, which I'll show you here next. But um, that will be able to slide right over um, that piece and, and that's why the spacer is there so I can give it some wiggle room um, so the uh, plastic trim piece can fit right over it. So here's part of that trim piece um, that I started to Dremel out and uh, I'm just gonna lay it side by side and I'll actually um, put them right up next to each other so then I can actually template off the um, original cut I made here but um, as you can see it's not the prettiest but you know no one's gonna look down there um, but all of that is going to be the same. So what I recommend for this is, um, you know, put them right next to each other and uh, just take a little marker and uh, um, outline and trace it. And then that's it. Okay, so this side is uh, tightened up. Um, all the trim pieces are put back in. Um, bear in mind that it does take a little bit. So just be patient. Um, everything's Loctited and uh, um, bolted down. So right here, um, where that bracket is, I just need to trim um, a good chunk of that little trim piece out and then uh, we should be ready to rock. So I just need to measure up from where that little bevel is right here. Um, just need to tr uh, measure up to where that bracket ends, um, probably at this point right here. Um, and then at the top point, um, right there where you see it and that's where I just need to trim up to and then we should be good to go um, but that's it and then I'll show some more um, of the video what it will look like and that's uh that's all I have for now this is it all the uh, plastic trim pieces are back in um, did a lot of tightening so the bolt right here you're gonna need two 17s to hold this part in, the other one to ratchet or whichever way you want to do. Um, I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit, but here's what the uh, the trim looks like. Um, I just need to clean this up a little bit more. Um, but so far, I mean, that's pretty much it. So I had to drill uh, or use the Dremel and cut above here. So I gave it about three and a half inches. And then from this point, um, cut up like three quarters and then notched it out right here. Um, I believe the whole length on this was about three inches. Um, and then up here, this is about an inch down. And then across, starting from this point right here, it's about an inch this way on that notch so hopefully that kind of gives you a better idea um but uh that's it and then for the allens right here you're gonna need an eight um and i tightened those down blue loctite as well um but that's it so <clears throat> a lot of work but definitely um beautiful and so uh the next part is i'll be putting in um the uh harnesses and that's uh, that's next. Okay, so we've got <clears throat> the uh, harness in. Um, this was kind of my first trial run and what to do. So I'll start showing you how um, the uh, passenger side's going to be. But um, right now, everything has been adjusted. Um, and I've got this already uh, put in and uh, rolled up the uh, excess harness um, strap. But um, I'll show you how to do that here shortly on the passenger side. So once again, thank you Brom for uh, sponsoring me. 
um, and sending me out these awesome items. And even the packaging, I never uh, had a chance to like talk about the packaging, but just individually, I mean, this is amazing. It's just an extra amount that they do, um, even though it's not necessary, but um, you know, just every little bit goes a long way. And then there's a bunch of um, stickers that they also sent with this as well. Um, I think these uh, are supposed to go on the harness bar, but um, uh, I mean, other than that, it's just so amazing what they do for their packaging. Um, and then bear with me, I'm trying to do this one handed. inside are the black ones I got under the bone with the uh, um, with the five points now in my video you'll see that I'm not going to go with the, uh, the center part just because of anatomical reasons um, so this guy's going out I'm not going to need him but, uh, I mean, there's a little pad here that goes underneath, um, and then it locks in place if I want to just take this side out, which is awesome. Um, but here shortly, I'm just going to show you uh, how I'm going to install these. Um, I'll start with the, uh, the lap belts first. And so uh, once I, once I um, get the uh, lap belts bolted in, um, I'm gonna start adjusting from there. So it's a good starting point, and then after that, I'll work on the uh, shoulder harnesses, um, and then adjust accordingly. So here we have uh, one side of the lap belt. Um, they come with these to bolt in. Um, however, the bolt in my seat um, is a little bit thinner than this, so we're just going to remove it. Um, it's a little trickier than I thought. Okay, so that's removed, and um, again, I'm just going to put it where my existing bolts are in the back. Uh, I'll show you here in a little bit, but um, this kind of gives you the ability to slide back. And so um, how I did it on the other side, um, I, uh, I did the bolt um, halfway and then slid this in and tightened it down. Another great thing about the uh, belts, um, they are SFI uh, certified. So um, this really shows um, their certification. Um, so that means I have to replace this in the next couple years. Loosened up the side just a little bit so I can give myself um, a little bit of uh, slack here and then tighten up as is. Um, and then in the back, so you really can't see it right now, but um, I undid that bolt a little bit so I could slide this guy in. Um, bear with me here. Uh, it's a little tight fit, especially with the harness bar in here now. Um, and doing this one handed. Maybe. Maybe I might just take the video. Uh, Oh, here we go. Oh, maybe not. Okay, so um, I had to uh, undo the, belt, um, the bolt a little bit more, and then I was able to slide that clip in. And then I'm just going to tighten it down after this point. So, um, mind you, I don't think this is good for safety, but um, these uh, harnesses, um, I'm only just using as uh, for show. So I don't recommend you doing anything like this unless you actually bolt it down um, <clears throat> same thing over here um, I'm just gonna undo the bolt a little bit more so sorry if there's a bunch of stuff just all over the place um, and then this uh, harness bar is hitting my neck so um, Bear with me, everyone. So now, should be able to slide this in place. All 
All right, so that's in. Um, I wish I had more hands, but now I'm just uh, tightening it down. So this is the lap belt. And then with the, uh, um, with the top harnesses, um, I'll, I've kind of, <sighs> so with that, <clears throat> I put the harness over the um, bar itself right now just to kind of give me an idea of how far they'll be behind. Now, um, because I'm putting it into the, onto the harness bar and wrapping it over it, I won't be needing this whole uh, assembly. So I'll just take it off the strap. Um, really not hard, it's just, um, you just gotta push it through and uh, pull it out from that point. But <clears throat> once it goes in, um, you wanna come underneath. And how the harness is, it wraps over. So I'll show you that in a little bit um, once I'm ready for the next step. So this part, um, I threaded it through and it may look a little confusing at first, but what you want to do is you want to take the long piece at the back here and thread it all the way down where it loops over the bar. And then you thread it through at the top right here. So you want to do this until you get like a decent tight fit. Um, this is where you're going to have to get up and down quite a bit um to uh to make sure everything's tight on the bar and then also uh, in the front um where you'll have to adjust the the shoulder harness side but um once you found that you have the right uh fit then you're going to take the other end of this strap and then you're going to slide it through the top here and it will lock in place um then after that <clears throat> what you'll end up doing is you'll take this and this is what i did here um so I took the end of the strap and then started rolling it into a uh, little ball, kind of like this. And then just keep rolling. I'm just doing this for uh, just general purposes, so it's not going to be perfect right here. But once you keep rolling, then you'll take a zip tie and then you'll put it in the center. And then how I have it right here is um, it's completely zipped in on the, on the strap. So it has a cleaner look to it. Okay, so this is it. Everything is all good to go. Um, like I said before, you want to start adjusting your harness from the, uh, the lap belt first and then focus on the harnesses later for the shoulder part. Um, they're pretty even. So uh, my side comes down maybe like half an inch longer just because I'm, I'm bigger. So I kind of made a little bit of compensation if someone smaller were to sit in the car or um, they need to scoot the uh, seat forward. Um, but that's it. Um, you know, I tried to make it as pretty as I could. I also cleaned up the car a little bit just so you don't think I'm a freaking slob. But, um, but that's it. So uh, if I were to... Um, to talk about this a little bit more um the overall process is just more painstaking it's not hard it's not rocket science um if you know how to take things apart and be able to put them back together i would say like difficulty on installing the seats the harnesses the harness bar um being able to know where to look especially with the internet um some of the stuff i've had to go to the uh, volkswagen mark 7 guys because we have the same chassis um Overall, I would say this was probably like a six or uh, seven difficulty, um, but not too hard. It's just, um, like I said, it's just really times, uh, time consuming. And then on top of that, like the trimming of the other pieces, but that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, share, um, and I'll see you guys uh, next week for my new video.